Hello everyone, my name is Meena Perry and I'm a Solutions Architect on the Amazon Selling Partner API team. In this video, I will walk you through the steps to create notifications for reports. Did you know that you can subscribe to different types of notifications relevant to a selling partner? So instead of polling for information, your application can receive it directly from Amazon when an event triggers a notification to which you subscribed. So how do we achieve this? by using Selling Partner API for notifications. Using this API, you can create a destination to receive notifications, subscribe to notifications, delete notification subscriptions, and more. There are two separate workflows for receiving notifications, Amazon EventBridge and Amazon Simple Queue service. As you see here, we have five different notification types using EventBridge and 12 using SQS. You need to follow the appropriate workflow based on the notification type that you want to receive. Today, we are going to dive deep into the report processing finished notification under the SQS workflow. If you haven't used reports before, Selling Partner API for reports lets you retrieve and manage a variety of reports that can help selling partners manage their businesses. This API provides reports for a variety of use cases including monitoring inventory, tracking orders for fulfillment, getting tax information, and much more. Now let's look closer into the report generation process. Report generation is an asynchronous operation where you request for a report, confirm that the report processing is complete, and then retrieve the report when it becomes available. Step 2 is where report processing finished notification comes in handy. Instead of constantly polling the API, to check if the report is available, you can set up SQS notifications and monitor the queue for the report processing finish notification event. This event includes the report document ID value if there is report data available. Now you can directly call the get report document operation and get the pre-signed URL for the location of the report document and then finally download the report. Now let's see a demo of how all this works in real time. First, we will create a new SQS queue with default options. Now let's copy the ARN, do an edit to edit this queue to give Selling Partner API permissions to write to this queue. Go to the policy generator, do effect allow, principle specific to SP API. Then on actions, do get queue attributes, send message, paste the ARN that we just copied, and do an add statement. This policy will give Select Partner API access to the queue to write and get queue attributes. So let's copy this. And we will paste it into the access policy of our newly created queue. Now hit save. We will copy the ARN again for future use in this demo. Next, we will see a Postman demo to set up the subscription and generate reports using SP API. First, we are going to create a destination using the notifications API create destination operation for our queue. Note, create destination operation is a grantless operation and does not require authorization from any selling partner. For more information, see grantless operation in the selling partner API developer guide. Now let's paste the ARN of the queue that we just created and hit send. The call was successful and we got a destination ID. Let's copy that and next we will create a subscription for this destination using create subscription operation. We are going to subscribe with the report processing finish notification type into the selected destination and hit send. Call was successful and we have the subscription ID returned. Now let's create a sample report and see this in action. We will use the create report operation and the sample report is get merchant listings all data. 
for US marketplace. This is just a sample report and it works for all reports. So the call was successful and we got a report ID back. Let's go back to our queue, send and receive messages and poll for messages. Yeah, we see a message. So let's open that. So this message is for the notification type report processing finished. And then the report type get function listings all data. The processing status is done. We see a report document ID. Let's copy that. And now we'll go back to Postman. And we'll use the get report document operation. Paste the report document ID that we just copied. And hit a send. So we got the pre-signed URL, which can be then used to download the report. And there we go. We have created a SQS queue, subscribed to report processing finish notification, and also received a sample notification. This will work for both ad hoc and scheduled reports. You no longer have to add in delays and poll the API repeatedly to know if the report has processed because the notification will let you know instead. This is all I had for you today. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more SP API videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.